Hi guys, welcome to TechGrunt. So today's problem is find largest value in each tree row. Basically, what you have to do here is you have to do a level order traversal of tree. So you uh, level order is horizontal traversal. So you go to node one, then node three two, then five three nine, and at each level, whatever is the maximum value, you have to return the maximum value of uh, each level so in this case the answer should be 139 because 1 is the largest value at level 0 3 is the largest value at level 1 and 9 is the largest value at level 2 so i will use a queue to do level order traversal so how we will do it i hope you guys are familiar with the uh, level order traversal so what we can do uh, just to we need to return it as a list, right? So we'll just copy this. We'll say result equal to new array list. Okay, and uh, if root is equals to null, so in that case, we will simply return this result set, which is null. And in the end, also we'll return this result whatever result we have got now what i will use here is i will use a queue to do level order traversal so queue will be queue of this tree node and in java it is implemented using a linked list so i will say it is an instance of a linked list and in queue i will put the value of the root node I will add this and then I will add one more value so this value is uh, to help me identify that okay after this particular value my next level has started so that is how you implement level auto traversal using a queue and then you can say while this queue is not empty you keep on going about this queue and from q you can get this tree node the first tree node that we have so i'll say temp will be q of pole so this will suppose i inserted the root here so this temp will contain my root node which is uh, equal to my uh, whatever root node is there and then i have also inserted a null here so i just need to make a check that if this temp is equal equal to null it means that i have uh, uh, reached the end of the level and i need to switch level so the level will be increased now so first i will do a check for not null so if it is not null then i need a max value here so max value will have integer dot min value or something like this or some negative number you can put it but in case the tree contains negative number then it will be an issue so better you put it as min value so if your temp is not equal to null it means that uh, at that particular level you have some more nodes to come in and you just check the value of that node that uh, whether that uh, node value is more than or less than the max value so if max value uh, if the max value that you have got is less than is less than your node value which you have got in temp so in that case max is equals to temp dot value and then you will go towards your left and you will go towards your right so all those child has to be put it in the cube so you will say if temp dot left is not equal to null so in your queue you offer temp dot left and same thing you will do it for right also so if right is not equal to null then you offer the right value to the queue so once these things are done then you will go to the else part that if the temp is equals to null it is equals to null it means that uh we are changing level we are changing level from here to this or from this to this so once we are changing level so again we need to initialize the max value to minimum because 
we need the max value of each uh, basically of each level that is what is required now before you do that you just add the current max value into your result set so i will add this once these two things are done then another check you have to do is you again need to insert a null value at the end of the queue because so that the next level can be segregated from the current level so you just put a check if queue is not empty it means you have something in the queue still so you need to segregate the level so you will say queue dot offer and you offer a null again so that is how you will do level order traversal and keep on adding a element uh, or the max value at each level so that should do and uh, it seems pretty okay and yeah that's accepted so there are another way you can do level order traversal using dfs also but uh, this is pretty easy way the only thing here is that you got to use additional data structure but that is fine i feel so if that is okay so that's it for this video see you in the next one